this picture, what in the Jesus Christ superstar is happening right here? What in the Portland, Oregon? What in the Woodstock documentary? What in the aluminum free deodorant? All right, so I'm a little late to this hilarity, but I refrained last week because I thought surely this is fake, right, Rocket? It's real. Oh, come on now. Surely this is like a far right culture warrior who's staging this hyperbole to try to point out how Hollywood can only think of things in terms of identity politics, right? That is the most real, authentic, hysterical- Oh goodness, it is real. Are you serious? Just when you watched Peter Pan and Wendy and thought the obtuse racial and gender politics couldn't get any worse, Disney told itself to hold its own beer. So the Daily Mail puts these pictures out last week and says they're from the set of the upcoming Snow White movie. There was some back and forth, there was some denials, then finally Disney says, look, this isn't real from the movie, these are just actor stand-ins from the movie set. Okay, so these aren't the real actors, but they are doing shot testing, which involves these stand-ins who are always similar in height, gender, and color, and costume so that the tech crew can get the shot and lighting correct. So this is what you can expect from the movie. Disney being as superficially diverse as possible to appease people on Twitter who probably aren't gonna see this trash anyway. Greg, how do you know the movie's gonna be trash? Because I sat through The Little Mermaid and people Peter Pan and Wendy. I hurt myself. Anyone with eyes can see the trajectory that Disney is on, and everything about their productions has taken a back seat to identity politics and representation. This is what Disney is passing off for social commentary. I coalesce the vapor of human experience into a viable and logical comprehension. Oh! A bullshit artist. Snow herself, Rachel Zegler, told Vanity Fair, people are making these jokes about ours being the PC Snow White, where it's like, yeah, it is, because it needed that. It's an 85-year-old cartoon, and our version is a refreshing story about a young woman who has a function beyond, someday my prince will come. She also said her role in the movie is important because now girls will know that anyone can be a Disney princess. Yep, you're the one that's done it. Before now, girls had no idea that anyone of any shade could be a princess. Thank God for you, Rachel. You said you were bringing a modern edge to it on stage. What do you mean by that? I just mean that it's no longer 1937. <laughs> I know we were all smug 21 year olds at one point, but oh my God. We absolutely wrote a Snow White that she's is- not gonna be yeah. saved by the prince. She's not gonna be saved by the prince and she's not gonna be dreaming about true love. She's dreaming about becoming the leader she knows she can be and the leader that her late father told her that she could be if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true. <sighs> there are so many things wrong with this take. First of all, if you want to be mad at this movie, be mad at the fact that the plot is about one woman tearing another woman down because of her looks. They're not even competing for the guy. The evil queen is just obsessed with being pretty. When we came to reimagining the actual role of Snow White, it became about the fairest of them all, meaning who is the most just and who uh, can become a fantastic leader. Okay, okay, so we're just going full fan fiction on this one, I got it. It is hilarious how people like to reimagine these old movies and infer patriarchal oppression that isn't there. The movie is about snow and always was. The prince plays such a minuscule role that he doesn't even have a name. He is a plot device at the end, he doesn't even do anything. The dwarves are the ones that defeat the evil queen in the end, having loyalty for snow because she came in and took care of them. Them. I know it's not nice to mention, but women have maternal and nesting instincts that most of us guys don't have. Roughly 70% of stand-up comedy is just about how we need women around because we can't pick up after ourselves, and while it's usually exaggerated for comedic purposes, it's, uh, it's also not entirely false either. So you've got this story, Snow is taking care of them, and they're taking care of her. But unless Snow becomes the leader she knows she can be, if she was fearless, fair, brave, and true, there is a certain segment of the online world that will never be happy. And if there's so much wrong with this movie, why are you remaking it? <laughs> I forgot, it's because these people are creatively bankrupt and only know how to make derivative works using name recognition of a popular product and then fixing it because it's current year. Of course, this picture demonstrates yet another thing that we groundlings didn't know was problematic until our betters fixed it for us. After all, it is current 
year. The dwarves were all evil white men, and they were offensive to Peter Dinklage. He was upset last year and called the movie Backward, a story about seven dwarves living in a cave. Just because the word dwarf is used, that's not necessarily a shot at little people. These guys are miners living in a magical land with sentient animals and a magic witch queen. I think it's fair to suggest that they are dwarves in the fantasy sense, like elves. Some have also noted that the dwarves only have four four fingers while the other characters have five, further suggesting that they are not human. Also, they live in a cottage, not a cave, Pete. They mined a cave because they were miners. But don't worry about the details because it's current year. And everything from the last century was obviously driven purely by racism, sexism, transphobia, homophobia, fascism, and xenophobia. We have to fix it. The reality is that the cartoon was made 85 years ago. I and therefore it's extremely dated when it comes to the ideas of women being in roles of power. I can't wait to watch this just for the lulls. Anyway, what are your thoughts? I appreciate you watching and I'll see you next time.